What's up everybody, G here, VP of content, fitnessimportment.com, here today for a review on a product that we probably should have done months ago. However, here we are, we are looking at ISO 100, specifically the Fruity Pebbles and Cocoa Pebbles versions. ISO 100 is from Diamantize, a very popular supplement brand. They are the first company to actually do a flavor collab with a cereal. They are both owned by Post, so it makes sense that they would come together. Um, this made a lot of waves, did a little up to the hype. We'll let you know, let's go. So starting off with the profile, uh, both versions are very similar macros, and this actually includes the entire ISO 100 line. It's a very lead source of protein, it's a whey protein isolate. Uh, zero grams of fat, one carb for the Fruity Pebbles version, two carbs for the Cocoa Pebbles version, and 25 grams of protein per scoop. This is pretty much an IIFY, <laughs> this is pretty much an IIFYMers dream, being able to eat you know, a real cereal without filling up your bingo numbers throughout your day or your macros for those people that don't know. Either way, these are great numbers. It is a, a hydrolyzed whey protein isolate. It is very, it's, it's a little more processed than a whey protein concentrate, which kind of gets rid of some of the benefits of whey protein concentrate. Uh, however, it's a little bit more denatured. However, it is digested easier. It's also going to be easier on the stomach for most people. So if you're sensitive to whey co concentrate, that gives you gas, things like that, this one might be worth trying out. So other than that, it's high quality source of protein. Obviously it has all the natural or the artificial sweeteners in there. Um, if that bothers you, it doesn't bother us here. Let's move on to the effectiveness. If there is any, let's go. So the effectiveness of a protein is very hard to gauge. Uh, really, it's just a convenient like source of protein. You know, Instead of eating a chicken breast, you can just take a scoop of protein, drink it down, and go on about your day. So in that sense, it's hard to judge it. However, you can kind of judge a protein by how it sits in your stomach, how it digests. With ISO 100 being a whey protein isolate, it does digest very well. No gas, no bloating, no cramping to, <laughs> to speak of. Uh, so in a sense, it worked very well. If you are sensitive to whey protein concentrate, this is probably gonna work well for you. Um, if this one doesn't like sit well in your stomach, then no whey protein will. So if all the concentrates on the market that you've tried, all the protein blends have failed you, this one, if this doesn't work, then give it up. Go vegan, go egg, something else. Okay, so now we get to the important part. Did it taste good? So we're doing both Fruity and Cocoa Pebbles. The Fruity Pebbles is actually the closest thing to natural Fruity Pebbles on the market. A lot of brands have actually tried this Fruity cereal and like Fruity Pebbles, you know, type of flavor, like a Fruit Loops and a Fruity Pebbles. A lot of brands go for the Fruit Loop flavor because I believe it's easier to get to. Fruity Pebbles is a little bit harder to reach. These guys actually did a very good job. It's easily above a nine out of 10 in terms of flavor. It's just not like a complete like, knock out of the park it's as close as it gets i mean it has to be but it's still not 100 percent there still it's very good if you like fruity pebbles you're gonna like this one as for the cocoa pebbles this is actually to me the most enjoyable one actually with that said i forgot to mention fruity pebbles and the cocoa pebbles are my two favorite cereals ever if i had one cereal to pick for the rest of my life it'd be those two or one of them with that said it's kind of like a deep chocolate it tastes exactly like if you were to take a lot of you know the cocoa pebbles Pour in just a little bit of milk or almond milk, whatever you use, and just, you know, like barely any, and then let it sit there. It's slightly thicker than your average whey protein isolate, which is kind of nice. And it just tastes very good. If you're a chocolate lover, you're gonna love this one. Uh, this is one I recommend out of the two. Personally, I know other people have different opinions. That's just me, and really, you can't go wrong with this one. If you like chocolate, you're gonna like this one. Worth trying out at least once. Okay, so now we get to the mixability, and this should be, come to no surprise, uh, this mixes well. Whey protein isolates tend to mix well. There's no clumping to speak of with the amount of water that we mixed it with. Unfortunately, you have to watch Ryan mix it and not me. That's the only drawback to this video. But yes, as he pours it out, it mixes well and there's no clumping, no graininess to speak of. No surprise, isolates do this. Let's move on to value. All right, when it comes to value, uh, this stuff is slightly more expensive than your average whey protein. Uh, you can get it for about $30 for about 22 servings per tub. Well, not the cheapest, it's also priced fairly competitively with other whey protein isolates on the market. And be sure to check out our website, we might have a coupon code on this in the written part of this review. However, we have seen proteins that are a lot more expensive than this, so again, it's priced competitively, and if you like Cocoa Pebbles or Fruity Pebbles, this is certainly worth trying out at least once. So overall, these did impress. The one thing that we wish they could have done, uh, should have put this in the flavor part, but I'm gonna put it in now. They could have added inclusions. They could have added some fruity syrup, like fruity pebbles or cocoa pebbles in there. Uh, I know this is an ISO protein, it's meant to stay lean, but uh, we would like to see it. Who knows, since they already have this, maybe they expand this flavor to the other, you know, protein powders of their line where they can have a little bit more carbs to play with. But other than that, it is well worth trying out. It tastes great. The pricing is fair. And really, come on, it's Fruity Pebbles and Cocoa Pebbles have to have these triathlons, right? 
be sure to check out the written portion of this review on the website. Instagram, Facebook, and